So this is a portable mini projector, but it's also a laser projector. So they're promising super high light output, super good quality, Google built in. We're gonna check this out. Check it before you wreck it. What's up, my fellow geeks? Good to have you guys. I'm Kirk. Welcome here to the channel if you're new. And check this out. This is the Nebula Capsule 3 Laser Projector. So it's a portable, small, compact laser projector, promising highlight output compared to a normal projector. And it has a very interesting kind of like soda can shape to it or Bluetooth speaker shape to it. So I wanna show you what comes inside the box. We'll get our first close up look at the projector itself as well, the remote and everything else that comes inside the box of the Nebula Capsule 3 laser projector. Let's get this over to the table and get this thing unboxed. Here it is, the Nebula Capsule 3 Laser Projector. See the power of laser brightness is the tagline. You can see the uh, Nebula by Anchor logo in the corner, Android TV, uh, Chromecast built in, Dolby Audio logo, and laser powered on the bottom. Laser bright, pocket size. That's the marketing thing here. It's got OK Google as well. Shows and sound you can't miss, but you can see the picture of them using it at a campsite. Android 11 DLP Laser 1080p projector with 52 watt hour battery built in and then a bunch of connectivity. Inside the box you get the projector, the remote, the batteries for the remote, the adapter, the power cord, and a quick start guide. And there are some app logos. They want you to put their app on your phone if you're using it. And you can see on the picture here on the side, somebody putting it into a backpack. That's the whole idea, the portability of it. On the bottom, bunch of words, bunch of legal jargon, mumbo jumbo, as well as a customer service number and email for the Nebula Anchor Company there. Hey, let's get our trusty knife and unbox this. There we go, we got it, sharp, it's ready to go. And I gotta uh, break this plastic here on the bottom of the box because this is fresh factory sealed. All right, we've got the plastic off. Let's pull off the cardboard sleeve, which we showed you just a second ago. And we're left with the black box housing the nebula. So let's pop this box open, see what's inside. And there you go, that's kind of cool. So it's some sort of cardboard inside here, but it's got an illustration of the Nebula Capsule 3 laser projector. Maybe some accessories in that box, not quite sure what's in there. We'll get to that in just a second. Let me pull it out of the way though, and there it is. There's the projector, looking pretty cool, presented well, face up, ready to go. That's cool, that's a good look. Nice job to the anchor folks who planned out this unboxing experience, which as you know is so important, that's why we do videos like this. Uh, in here we've got, looks, looks like the AC adapter plug, which is gonna be USB-C, I'm pretty sure. And what else is in here? Looks like just the cable. Okay, let me grab the cable here. Just the cable for that AC adapter plug. I'll get rid of this cardboard. It's empty, nothing else left in there. And you can see this is a standard uh, USB-C plug. Uh, not even branded from what I can tell. It doesn't even say Anchor or Nebula or anything on it. Same thing with the uh, AC adapter plug, the actual wall wart here. It's just a, a pretty powerful wall wart, has to be for this uh, projector, but I don't see any Anchor or Nebula branding on it itself. Doesn't matter, just kind of surprised to see that, but it's a generic wall wart and we'll set it to the side here. Let's see what's inside this little box that was in the packaging. Again, that illustration on the front is pretty cool. It's got kind of an, M ooh, that's cool. There's the remote, nice. Remote, quick start guide, some batteries. So here's the quick start guide. I'm not gonna go through this. It's just, I'm sure, some very simple stuff. How to put the batteries in the remote. You can figure that out. You're not a dummy. And then this is kind of interesting. This is Nebula Connect installation, but also talks about installing Netflix on Nebula Play because it doesn't come with Netflix. It's a weird kind of rights thing, but they do give you instructions on how to install Netflix, also how to do the keystone correction, et cetera, et cetera. So nice to see that little quick start card in addition to the quick start guide. And we've got some some sketch looking batteries in here. <laughs> I don't know. These brands of batteries they include with this stuff is, are always interesting. A bunch of Chinese writing or something like that, Mandarin writing there on the uh, batteries. But let's look at the remote itself. This is the Nebula remote. Nice looking Google remote. It's got a microphone in the corner there, power button, um, alignment button. Microphone button, it's got your D-pad, directional stuff, back button, settings button, home button, and then volume up and down. So we'll play with this once we get it set up. Uh, and it, But it, you know, it's a good size. It's pretty much what we've come to expect from most Google devices. Let me see if I can get this battery compartment open. Come on, come on. 
There we go. Now we got it. There you go. Just uh, standard AAA batteries. Two AAA batteries go in the bottom there, which we will insert uh, later on when I do my full testing of the Nebula projector here. But I do want to get this stuff out of the way and get to the projector itself. All right, here it is. It's got this cylinder shape, kind of like a, a soda can, a large, like a tall boy beer can maybe. And look at that. That's the lens. Looks slick. That red ring. They did a good job with the design. It looks high end. It feels high end. It's got some weight to it. Buttons on the top are touch sensitive buttons. And you've got what looks like a back button. You've got a plus and minus button. And then you've got D-pad and a select in the middle for when you don't want to use the remote, I suppose. And then on the back, we've got a power button. This is, I believe, a speaker connect button in the middle and then looks like an IR sensor of some sort uh, not exactly sure what that's used for uh, you got an aux audio port there you've got an HDMI port and then your type C USB port which is for your power on the front looks like a little camera that's probably for the alignment the auto alignment uh, feature on here which we'll test out again more when we test it out you can see autofocus lens 1080p laser projector just a slick looking device I really like that the red accents they put on here Nice tripod stand on the bottom, which is super important because if you have a tripod, it's a great way to use one of these portable projectors if you need a quick way to set it up and have it be nice and stable. Again, this thing is uh, pretty heavy, pretty hefty. In fact, let me take a quick second here. So it feels heavy. Let me weigh it here uh, just for, you know, because I'm interested. It's two pounds and just under two ounces. So it's a good two pound hefty projector. It's a speaker too, so it's got to have some weight to it. And I like the shape. I like the feel. I like the quality. The build of this feels really good. I can't wait to actually try this out. This is the Nebula Capsule 3 Laser Projector from Anchor. So what do you think? Interested? You're gonna buy the Capsule 3 laser projector? Do you have more questions for our full review? Comment below. I'd love to hear what you guys are thinking right now. I read and reply to every single comment. Go ahead, test me. I dare you. And I'd love it if you subscribe to the channel here. A lot more cool tech unboxings, tech reviews, just geeky videos. It's what I do, it's what I love, and I'm guessing it's what you love too. New videos every week, tech it before you wreck it. I'm Kirk.